welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno as we attend the UK Premier for the knockout documentary Klitschko, the true story behind the Ukrainian heavyweight boxing champions. It is a story, but it's a universal story. It's on uni for a universal picture and a universal story. It's about two brothers, and the younger one has to grow up. It's basically a coming of age story or a maturation plot. And once they are grown up, they're the same strength and, and equal on the same height. They kind of had to find out who's the stronger. And this is for us the internal story of Cain and Abel, where two brothers have to find out who's stronger. And the mother stepped into between them in between of them and said okay no you will not you are brothers you have the same blood in your veins you will not find out and so it's a happy ending it certainly is, and, and, and the, the story it takes us um, obviously from the beginning of their lives to to, to where they are now. Um, but you've travelled all over the world logistically. Was this a, a difficult documentary to film and produce? Actually, what was most difficult on the documentary was it was a developing story. When we started with them two years ago, they had about ten fights ahead. And I mean, heavyweight boxing, there's one punch is enough and your career is over. And it's very difficult to start such an expensive documentary on two living people on a developing story. And so this was basically what was the highest risk doing this. And we were so amazingly lucky that in the last two years, everything just went perfect with them. And uh, The other thing as well as, for, as filmmakers, how important was it to, to you, for you to gain the trust of, of, the, of the brothers, to get let them in? Very important. They're very smart people. They're very brain maneuvered or they're, they're focused, they read, they think, they have their own visions. And what they said, well, you want to do a documentary, show us your work. What have you done before? And so we showed them about 15 different documentaries we had done before. And so they said, okay, it's you. We want you to portray our life. And they say, okay, if it's us, you cannot influence the film. Basically, it's, it's the director who has to direct the film. And if you start you directing our film, then the film will not be good. And they accepted this and they trusted us. And this was very nice to see. Some of the powerful scenes as well within the film it, 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 when we retrace the steps um, with Vladimir in, it, back in the Ukraine. Um, how was that for you as filmmakers being a part of that and seeing how that's affected Amazing. them? absolutely amazing I mean this was such a homecoming for them and it also was so nice for us to be part of this and see to these two sons of the city of Kiev of this great nation of Ukraine coming back and such be such incredible representatives of their country across the, across the globe and also never forget their roots it's a funny story that the Germans think they live in Germany yeah and the Germans think they waiting to become Germans so they lose which is totally untrue they love to be Ukrainians and they love the country but they they enjoy living in Germany. So this was funny. You know, you think back and realize how they grew up. It seems like the relative, the whole family, for the most part, is the mother and the father, and Natalia and Vladimir. The bond and the love between these two brothers, was that something that was very high on your uh, priority? Yes, from the fir very first time, first place, uh, uh, this was my idea to make, make a film about brothers and their relationship. And, and I expected that there must be some rivalry between them and, and all the things we do not know. And this was my, my, my goal, of course. To, uh, to to dig deep yes and 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 to to yeah to get an inside look and and uh, yeah but they we shot for two years and um, after the first shootings they forgot about the camera we became part of the crew and so uh, um, we became friend, friends in a way also so it was not not it was not difficult for me to uh, to, to, to get really deep yeah. And, and what I noticed as well with the documentary, you, you've obviously interviewed the brothers separately. Yeah. Was, did, was, did the interviews take place before, or just as the, direct, uh, the documentary started, or was it so then you could then build the documentary on the, those interviews? No. It was at the final stage of, uh, of, of shooting, but uh, I spoke with both of them. I don't, do not know about four or five hours. This was, you know, the last big. Uh, uh, interview and uh, and I only could use uh, 
pieces, you know. But uh, but I, I wanted to make it separately because because uh, I wanted to speak about everything and and have the opportunity also to repeat maybe something, but it wasn't wasn't necessary actually. Just get hit with one punch in training, I get out of balance. But Charlie is a nervous wreck, you know. He's an overly protected big brother. As documentary mm -hmm. filmmakers, and you you've been allowed access into mm -hmm. um, some very kind of sacred places. Did you have to be discreet when you were when you were filming? Well, uh, this was my concern in the, at the beginning, that they would say no, no, no. Uh, but it happened one time that they said, please do not film right now, because uh, Vitaly wants to drop his pants uh, to go <laughs> under the shower. So this was the only time he said, please stop, stop filming. Uh, no. Um, we got access to the, um, um, yeah, to the locker room just before the fight, and this is fantastic material for my opinion and we come really close I mean watch all their preparations and so on and they were not disturbed by our camera at all so we were of course very quiet and so on but uh, but this was yeah this was thrilling for me to see this and to get so close yeah. it was actually it was beautifully edited the way that you know you, you could see the reactions of, of the brother who, whichever one was in the ring um, that was really really well crafted well, thank you very much Absolutely. yeah so it was a special, a special uh, thing for me, definitely. So working for so long with uh, such exceptional sportsmen, uh, uh, great experience. And also, um, the, we, we take a look back at the Ukraine and obviously go into the history of, of, the, of the brothers. As a, as a historical filmmaker, um, was it important to have that aspect um, and what yeah, happened in the country? Definitely, because I, I wanted to, um, to reveal somehow the secret of the Klitschkos and the hidden secret. And I found it, for my opinion, in the youth and in, the, and in growing up in these um, conditions, in these conditions. I mean, they traveled all over the Soviet Union uh, in, in former times and they learned so many values. From, from especially from the father. How important was it that the trust in the filmmakers before you embarked on sharing your life story really? It's very important to trust people. And yes, of course, as uh, Sebastian Derhardt is uh, professional. It's one of the best in the world and that's why we received some information about him and uh, wow, he's really one of the best, he's really professional and we trust him. And uh, the result of uh, the movie told we make the right decision. And, uh, the, going and, and traveling back to your past, what, what was that like for you? Was it, was it a, a good experience or, or was it shocking really? No, it was, it was actually entertaining. I never seen footage of Vitali being 18 years old somewhere in the United States wearing the baseball cap and drinking first time very exciting Coca-Cola. So there is a lot of footage that we got to see uh, through Sebastian, uh, our movie director, film director, that um, found out somewhere. And um, um, it's in a certain way you're actually so right. It's a tra it's it's time to travel in the past for us and. Um, and I think, I think also it's not just about us and for us, but it's also for the fans to understand sports of boxing better and to understand Klitschko brothers better. It's not about Klitschko brothers. about two boys which have a dream and make a dream true. And uh, if we have a chance to change the name of movie, this will be a new name. Nothing is impossible. They're so true, and one of the, the um, one of the lines I believe it's yourself that says is that boxing is is uh, brutal and dangerous. So what compels you to want to get back into the ring and compete time after time? Well, it's 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 not uh, you know uh, it's for fun because beat up people for living for 22 years it has to be fun, right? Otherwise, I won't do it or Vitali. Uh, but I I also think that that sport of boxing has, uh, aside from brutality and everything else, and, and show you man's character, where two men competing with each other, to win obviously female's heart, I guess, um, as in Vitaly's case, because he's happily married. It didn't happen to me yet, and he has beautiful three children, I am not. So hopefully I will conquer female's hearts. That's why I keep doing this business, and then hopefully one day it's gonna happen to me as well. Well, the film certainly will. Well, that's it from Premier Scene this evening as we say a fond cheerio to the Klitschkos.